Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool effect in After Effects. So let's jump right into it. Open up After Effects and we're gonna select New Composition. I'll go with a 60 by 30 and press OK. We have this uh, rectangle now. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make a square by holding down the shift key till we reach the half point over here. And I'm going to change its color to white. I'll then add a new solid layer and I'm going to make it black. And I'll bring it underneath the white shape. Um, we're going to go to Composition, New Composition, and now you can just create the composition you want. I'm going to go with a 1000 by 1000, press OK. Let's zoom out a bit, and we have our new composition. We're going to drag and drop our other composition inside here. So as you can see, we have our two little squares. We're going to open up the Transform and we're gonna change the anchor point to zero and zero and the position to zero and zero as well so that it's gonna be at the top corner right over here. Next, we're gonna go to the effects in presets and we're gonna type in repeat tile. So just click and drag that effect onto your layer and we're gonna expand right. So as you can see, we get a nice little pattern now and we're gonna expand down as well. And in the tiling options, instead of repeat, we're gonna select brick. So that we get this nice little checkered thing. Lastly, it's already done, I know, super easy. We are going to look for the displace and we're gonna grab the turbulent displace, just drag and drop it there. We're gonna click on the evolution stopwatch at the beginning of your timeline. So make sure you're at zero seconds. Click on the stopwatch, go to the end of your composition. And let's, I'm gonna go with like five over here and play it back. Pretty neat. Uh, another thing you can do is play around with the settings for if you want it to be like more displaced, if you want it to be displacing a bigger portion, or if you want it to be smaller. Um, you can play around with the complexity as well. And yeah, that's basically it. You get this really trippy and cool effect. Let me know if you enjoyed this After Effects content as well as the Photoshop ones. Comment down below if you have any tutorial requests or suggestions. Feel free to go check out my Instagram and linked in the description down below are going to be my gradient map packs and my texture packs. So go check those out as well. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.